Hello everyone and welcome to another race here in 2001 season here in 2003. It'll be here at the Martinsville Speedway with Jeff Gordon on pole alongside Kenny Schrader with Dale Jarrett, Bobby Labonte, Tony Stewart, Dale Jr., Ricky Rudd, Jeff Burton, Ward Burton, and Matt Kenseth making the top 10s. We are underway here at Martinsville. Jeff Gordon out to the lead early. No surprise there. He's been so dominant all year long all season long so far. Dale Jarrett is second. He's also been very fast. So those are our most recent race winner. Bobby Labonte, your Texas winner there in third getting around Schrader. These three look fast as they have been all season long, so I don't be surprised they pull away. Jeff Gordon leads the opening lap here at Martinsville. Now we want to do a restart here on lap 156. The top three have lapped the entire field except that of course themselves Bobby Labonte leads Jarrett second Jeff Gordon third they're the only three cars on the lead lap they have been so dominant in this race that they have not been touched it is unreal they are just that fast so Bobby Labonte leads here on this restart trying to lap Jeremy Mayfield throughout the field see the 26 machine of John of Jimmy Spencer coming down pit road as everyone continues, who's not on lead lap, just trying to get to the finish of this absolute dominant performance by three of our main six championship contenders in the points right now. As Bobby Labonte looks to take that advantage as he leads here. As now we move on to lap 220 in this race. This is with 280. One to go, 281 to go. Bobby Labonte leads. Jeff Gordon second. Dale Jarrett third. All still, the only cars on the lap in cruise control right now, just dominating this race. Really, nothing much to know unless Jeff Gordon tries to take the lead here on Bobby Labonte. He does not. Everyone keeps on battling for position. Oh, ooh, we got problems back here. Robbie Gordon, Mike Skinner, Ron Hornaday, problems. Oh, looks like the 14 Ron Hornaday got turned by championship contender Ricky Rudd. Indeed, Ricky Rudd spins out Hornaday up the track. He goes contact with Dave Blaney. Everyone else checks up, gets out of the way. It's a little bit of contact there from Dave Blaney's nose into the side of Hornaday. That brings out the yellow here with Bobby Labonte leading at Martinsville. Now we move on to lap 303, and Bobby Labonte has blown an engine. One of the three dominant cars of the day. His hopes for the win go up in smoke. His engine expires. He is out. And Dale Jarrett finds himself the only car on the lead lap at this moment with two with 198 to go. He is the only car on the lead lap. And he is going to bring home a win here as he's got Jeff Gordon lap down. As well as others like Tony Stewart and many others. But here we are. Um, Dale Jarrett leads on this restart here over Jeremy Mayfield and he seems to be doing what he needs to do right now to get his second win of the season to back up that win he had at Las Vegas where he of course went out got the victory there holding off the young Kevin Harvick as by see Stewart the top lap car actually in second place right now in the 20 but Dale Jarrett leads here at Martinsville now we move on to Lap 363, Jeff Gordon leads as Dale Jarrett is out of the race with some kind of mechanical problem. And Dale Jarrett, who was the only car in lead lap at the time, is now out. And so now it's back to the last of the three dominant cars at the beginning of the day is Jeff Gordon, who is dominating. And Jeff Burton just blew an engine. The 99 up in smoke. Jeff Burton, smoke pouring out the back of that Sitco Ford for Roush Racing. As Jeff Burton, he's going through three and four just fine, trying to lap LePage here, and then just engine blows, racing to the front straightaway, and that's it for Jeff Burton. Mechanical failure, just like Bobby Labonte and Dale Jarrett, he will be done, as it will be Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Ken Schrader, and Rusty Wallace, the four lead lap cars, as all oh, heartbreak for Jeff Burton here at Martinsville. He will be done. As Jeff Gordon leads. And now we move on to 54 to go in this race. Jeff Gordon finds himself in the lead as usual. Kenny Schrader second. Sterling Marlins third. And he's about to lap fourth place. Tony Stewart. Jeff Gordon looks to cruise to victory here. He's led a ton of laps this season. And is just keeping up the good pace that he's had all year long. Look at the back. Ooh, problem. Cars going slow. Kevin Harvick, the 29, going slow. Brett Bodine, the 11. There has been an incident here. Looks like they were avoiding something that happened up ahead with the 01 of Jason Leffler. 
Looks here out of turn four here. Johnny Benson turns Jason Leffler and spins him out. Contact made with Kevin Harvick. And that will bring out the caution here in Martinsville. As Leffler goes around and gets hard damage there from Kevin Harvick. As Jeff Gordon continues to lead the way here in Martinsville. Now we're going to move on to a four to go in this race. It is now Sterling Marlins Dodge, who has gotten out in front of Jeff Gordon on some brilliant strategy by the Chip Ganassi Racing with Felix Sabata's team and Dodge, looking for their first win in their return to NASCAR. They had their 500-day countdown clock to the Daytona 500 to when Dodge would officially be back in this sport this season. Sterling nearly won at Daytona. He's had speed everywhere else. Can he finally break through and get Dodge that win here at Martinsville over Jeff Gordon, one of the best in the business as he comes to two to go. Sterling Marlin here at Martinsville has pulled off a great strategy and now just has to hold on for two more laps. Two to go at Martinsville for Sterling Marlin before he can bring back the victory. As he leads over Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, and Kenny Schrader, the only four cars on the lead lap after the DNFs of Bobby Labonte and Dale Jarrett. So Sterling Marlin coming to take the white flag for Chip Ganassi, for Dodge, and for his sponsor Coors Light in the Silver Bullet. White flag final lap at Martinsville for Sterling Marlin. Looking to get Dodge their first win. He is now half a lap away from bringing Dodge back to victory lane. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The 500-day wait is over. Sterling Marlin down the front straightaway. Sterling Marlin wins at Martinsville and gets Dodge their first win in NASCAR in a long time. Jeff Gordon is second. Third will be the 20 of Tony Stewart here as he comes across the line. And Kenny Schrader will finish in fourth, holding off fifth place Ricky Rudd. As Sterling Marlin brings Dodge back to victory lane here at Martinsville in the Winston Cup Series in spectacular fashion with some good strategy beating out Jeff Gordon in an absolute barn burner of a Martinsville race where only 27 cars finished, only four being on the lead lap. Now, if you're Winston Cup standings after this race in Marsville, Jeff Gordon remains the po uh, jumps to the points leader above Rusty Wallace by 73 points. Sterling Marlin is 85 points out. Ricky Rudd, 122 points out. Then Kevin Harvick is fifth in the points. Jeff Burton falls to sixth. Bobby Labonte falls to seventh in the points. And Bobby Hamilton, Matt Kenseth, and Kenny Schrader round out your top ten in the points. Then it is Dale Jr., Ricky Craven, Tony Stewart, Dale Jarrett, Steve Park, Bill Elliott, Johnny Benson, Dave Blaine, Jimmy Spencer, and Terry Labonte in the top 20. Note that Jarrett fell from 11th to 14th. Until the next episode at Talladega, I hope you all have a good one.